Hello and welcome. My name is David Monaghan and I'm Deputy Editor of Business and Finance. Today I am joined by Seamus Fitzpatrick, Head of the Business Faculty at Griffith College Dublin. Seamus will give us an insight into the blended learning study mode at Griffith College. What does blended learning mean and how does it work? Yeah, um, very good question um, because there's sometimes uh, confusion uh, re-blended learning and purely online. Um, blended learning is a mixture of in-person, um, on-campus or in-class attendance at lectures and remote learning. So it's a combination of some online and in camp on, and some on campus, you know, your traditional um, uh, classes. Um, so that's, that's, I suppose, a, a definition of blended learning. Um, more specifically, um, what we do is uh, lecturers will prepare um, their lectures, will pre record their lectures, I should say. Um, and those lectures then would be uploaded for students to view and to digest at their own uh, time and their own leisure, particularly more complicated parts uh, where they need to, they can look at it as many times as they want. Um, but that's only one part. Uh, students would also come in during semester uh, a number of Saturdays where they would take um, classes with their peers or with their classmates and the lecturer so they get a chance to ask questions in real time and also build relationships with their um, with their peers. Um, they would also be webinars would be part of the blended learning approach um, and there would also be considerable support from their lectures you know throughout the semester whether that be zoom meetings or online or um, uh, students actually coming onto campus um, to meet their year head or their program director or whatever. So essentially, I suppose, to answer your question, it's a mixture of the online element and the traditional in-person classroom uh, element. And that's how, you know, that's how we would, we would um, deliver the, the, the blended program. When was blended learning introduced um, in the business faculty? Yeah, so it was back in, uh, um, I think it was back in 2016, um, we had, uh, I suppose, I've been with the campus now or with the with the, the faculty in Griffith College for, I suppose, nearly 20 years. Um, but over that time, I've, and I do a small bit of lecturing myself, and I lecture to part-time students. And over the years, particularly in recent years, we had a lot of students, um, you know, giving feedback and saying, you know, the commute was taking a lot of their time. Um, sometimes they had to work late and then they'd either be late for their evening lectures or they'd have to miss them all together. So we got more and more feedback from students. And we also had students who were living, you know, uh, quite far from the college, uh, our potential applicants or potential students saying to us, you know, um, is there any way that I could do this a different way? I really want to do a degree. And we were anxious to give them access to, um, to education essentially um, that they otherwise would not have had access to. So we began thinking about doing or delivering our program via blended approach back then. Um, and initially we, we launched it, I think in 2016, 17 and we'd relatively small numbers, but the numbers have grown quite significantly since then. Um, so much so that we've introduced other programs uh, via blended um, delivery. Um, and uh, it's really goes from strength to strength. And I think, you know, the last two years with COVID, more and more people now are comfortable and they're, they're used to, to the home environment and to engaging in service. Because if you think about it, you know, um, in the past to access a lot of services, you had to go to the point where the service was being delivered. And whether that was going to, uh, you know, uh, an accountant or a solicitor or an architect. And now a lot of that can be accessed online. You can do your, you know, your mortgage. You can get that all done online. You can have medical uh, visits and you can do it remotely. And we kind of said, well, you know, if all of this is possible, why should education be any different? So I suppose we were a bit ahead of the curve in that we were delivering blended before COVID. Um, and uh, so it's not really a reaction to COVID that we're doing. We were doing it a number of years beforehand. So we've been doing it about five years. And as I said, the feedback we've got from students uh, and we've learned lessons. I mean, it was new to us too, um, of how to improve the delivery, how to improve the supports for students. 
Um, so it's been a learning curve for us, but we're very happy of how it's it's progressed, you know? Yeah, no, um, I mean, case in point, we are speaking virtually right now um, as yeah. opposed to in person. Um, you, you hinted at, or you discussed um, briefly uh, blended programs available at Grid. I, I just want to sort of pick up on that and ask what blended business programs are available at Griffith? Yeah, so um, we have a level eight uh, honors degree or a Bachelor of Arts honors degree in business. And then we also have a level eight in business um, with a focus on marketing in their final year. So marketing is part of the title of the award. And likewise, a level eight honors degree in business with a focus on HRM. And then a couple of years ago, because of the success of the business program and the numbers applying, we launched the BA Honours in Accounting and Finance uh, through blended delivery as well. So um, business marketing, HR, and also accounting and finance, they would be the, the programs that we're currently offering. And we are hoping to offer more in the coming years. So I guess I'm also wondering, and you may have sort of hinted at this already, but who would benefit from a blended learning business program? Yeah, that's a really, really good question. Um, I suppose, first of all, it's those who may have a considerable commute. Um, so, you know, typically when we were doing, and which we still are, our part-time degree, but for the blended, I suppose it was people more remote. Uh, so it might be people in Kildare or Mead. And in fact, we've got students from all over Ireland doing our blended degree right up to Donegal. Um, so, saving time in terms of a commute, saving money in terms of a commute, uh, particularly appeals to those. It also appeals particularly to those who've got comfortable doing a lot of their work remotely, who before may not have been too tech savvy or too comfortable working remotely. And also because the job scenarios have changed where a lot of students who were in Dublin who maybe had to dash over to get to college, now they can, you know, they're working remotely from home and um, they, can, they can also do the, uh, it, it would suit them to do a blended. But I suppose to answer your question in relation to who does it suit, uh, it suits those obviously, you know, who are trying to keep a, a work life, home life balance uh, with all that that entails. But not only that, it, it probably suits people who have a lot of self-discipline because while remote working and remote learning is great, it doesn't necessarily suit everybody. And there's a lot of people who like to learn um, you know, in person. Um, and we do have the option for those who can come into classes in the evening and do their part-time degree. But for blended, I suppose people who have a lot of self-discipline, you know, who are going to watch the pre-recorded classes, who are comfortable to work on their own, who are quite independent, um, in addition to those who, you know, uh, may have a long commute or those who've got a very, very busy work schedule and they can't necessarily commit to two or three evenings per week at a fixed time, but they can commit to a course doing it in their own time. Um, so they would be the kind of, um, uh, I suppose, people that we would be um, aiming this program at, you know. And what support is available for um, the people who who study business via blended learning? Yeah, um, in the, it, I suppose at the moment, um, we have a lot of support. So first of all, there's a designated coordinator of the program. Um, the students would also have a designated year head, um, program director and faculty administrator. So all the support we have in terms of people support to our, shall we say, our, our, our day to day, um, you know, on campus students, that would also be available to the blended students. We'd also have a very good virtual learning environment. So we would have a system and it's quite common in, in other colleges uh, um, called Moodle and students can access the videos for their classes. They can access case studies, past exam papers. Um, they can do mini quizzes, etc. So there's a lot of resources and material available online, but also there would be designated meeting hours with their, their lecturers so they can they can send emails or they can set up Zoom meetings with their lecturers. Um, but also during the day, they can always call, um, you know, staff who are here, um, such as, you know, the, the administrators here heads, and they can arrange meetings and, and videos and, and Zoom videos um, or Zoom meetings outside of class. So it's not a case of when it's five o'clock or 5.30, the college is closed. I mean, there's no problem arranging meetings to suit students' uh, preferred times. 
Um, so whether it's a phone call, an email, a Zoom meeting, or if, indeed if they want to come in. And they also have access to everything that a full-time student would. So they can come in and access the library here, the career service here, um, you know, anything that they may wish to, to do. So it's not a case that they're they're a, a kind of a second class student. They've they've uh, all of the, the entitlements that a full time student would have and all the services that we provide. Um, so they're very well supported. We would also have a digital learning department here um, and we would have learning technologists who specialize in this area of the provision of learning or distance learning to students who were not physically on campus. And as I said, we're, we're constantly looking at technologies to provide even better services to students who are studying remotely. So there's a lot of support provided. Seamus, uh, I think that is a perfect note to end on. Uh, thank you very much for giving us an insight into the blended learning study mode at Griffith College. You're very welcome. And it was very nice to talk to you today. Thanks a million. Thank you. Thank you.